All right, I think I have a games journalist difficulty certified build here using the Smith script throwing daggers. Now these throwing daggers do laughable damage and normally I wouldn't recommend these to anybody. However, when you pair them with a great shield, the guard counter is actually a throw attack which is pretty rad in a lot of different situations. There's a lot of times you're getting hit from mid-ranged things that when you guard counter, you can't actually reach, especially in this DLC. A lot of enemies will spit gunk at you, and you can block that gunk and then throw this back, and you'll actually get a land on that guard counter. It's very effective for efficiently uh, clearing dungeons, and uh, I'm going to show a little bit of that. So these are the main two things you want to do. If you got a better shield, I don't have the stone shield, that's probably the recommended shield, and a shield that'll let you use an Ash of War would also be pretty cool, because you can put a cool, lot of cool Ashes of War on this dagger. But anyways, I don't have the stone shield, so I'm just using this one. 89 guard boost, it's plenty fine. Now, you can use whatever gear you want, but I'm just going to go through real quickly and explain why I picked each piece of gear. Now, this guy is one of the best helmets in the game, in my opinion. Let's take a look at what it says. Slightly increased maximum HP, stamina, uh, equipment load. And when it says slightly, I think it's under exaggerating how slightly. It gives you 50 health, 7 stamina, and probably some kind of percentage of equipment load. But it's a lot of equipment load. It's uh, way better than it sounds. So this is probably my favorite helmet in the game. I will always use that helmet. Now this guy, uh, normally before you alter it it's 9.2 weight at 18 points which is basically standard now i just do in my head quick mass i was just multiply the weight by two and it should be under the poise value if it's a good poise piece of gear anything over that poise value unless it has other properties that make it cool you probably shouldn't use because of poise inefficiency so like this guy right here 10.6 and the poise is 21 so it's like right at the cusp of being good but it's 21.2 in the weight department and 21 poise. This guy, 8.1, which is 16.2, well under the 18 poise value. So that's kind of how I always pick my armor, my armor sets. And so far in the game, my favorite armor set is this bad boy right here. Uh, its poise values kind of diminish as they get heavier, but one, it's just the best fashion. Uh, before that, it was this guy, but the fashion just isn't on point with them big old fat red saggy titties on this armor. I ain't wearing that. I want to look cool as shit. So this guy's probably my favorite armor. Um, this guy's competing, but it, at only two more poise. I mean, you know, I guess you got the physical at 20, but I mostly just care about the poise values on my armor. Everything else is secondary. Uh, and the Godskin Noble bracelets are three poise, 1.7. You know, it's not quite the best, but I like it anyways. I think it's pretty good. And then the Crucible Greaves are really solid. Ideally, I'd want to be using these guys. But the Crucible Greaves, 9.6 times 2, it's under that 20 poise value. Pretty solid. I like the Crucible Greaves. The entire Crucible set's really nice. Um, and with this build, you could probably even go to Fat Roll if you really wanted to. You don't necessarily need to be... Oh, I am on Fat Roll. I forgot I changed these up, so I lost some uh, things. So I'm just going to go to anything that's a medium roll. Night Cavalry, medium roll. That seems fine. Anyways, I like to be at medium roll. It looks better. It's cooler, but uh, I haven't explored the entire game. If there's things that allow you to be ultra heavy and do cool stuff, I haven't found them yet, and I haven't found all the stuff in the DLC, so there might be even more you can add to this build. So those are the gear pieces I have, and for the talismans, enhanced throwing weapons. Given. I think that's 15 or 10, whatever it is. I haven't looked it up, but... It does increase weapons. I tested it, I took it on and off. I threw it at things. It does increase the throw damage. Stamina is really important when you're blocking. So obviously it greatly increases stamina recovery speed. Beautiful. This guy's always in your uh, pick. You just need to just never not use this one. And this one boosts non-physical damage negation by the utmost. So when you're blocking with your shield, it's 100% physical damage mitigation, but everything else is not 100%. We got 72, 74, 76, uh, 67 and 86 so it's going to boost all those values in terms of your defense and since this build is kind of for games journalists that's what we want to do now let's take a look at the best combat this dagger has to offer the best combat this dagger has to offer is horse combat so we're going to run and fight this little horse boy here and uh, we're going to show some of this horse combat he's not the hardest horse enemy in the game but uh, he is kind of a dick sometimes and 
you know, getting close enough to actually hit him. So you can just throw, run around in circles, throw the daggers, and you can throw pretty good behind you. And it's super effective at killing anything while you're on a horse. I absolutely adore this freaking dagger on a horse. Boom. Dead easy. It's super easy. So, nice horsey. Pillage him. And you, you can even kill him a lot of times without killing that poor little horse, right? You want to be all PC, not killing any of the animals in this game at all. However, there is a talisman that gives you uh, FP and HP for killing enemies. And when you're on this horse running around, let's target this sheep. You can throw the dagger at the sheep and get that sheep kill so easy. It just kills everything on a horse super easy. Like this big old billy goat here, he didn't stand a chance. And I got his beast horn. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. What are you going to do? I'm on a horse with throwing daggers. You got nothing. You can't do anything to me. The throwing daggers are not a lot of damage, but given the added utility, they're really good. Uh, and a lot of fun, and it kind of a different play style a little bit. Ooh, I don't think I have a common helmet, soldier helmet. Uh, now, the downsides of this build is if you get into a group of enemies, you can get overwhelmed pretty easily. Like, we'll fight this group here and we'll see what happens if I get overwhelmed by them all there. And if I can fight this horse pretty easily by having two of the dudes swinging at me. So far, it's looking pretty good. You do miss a lot. But you don't have to get close, so it's not a big deal if you miss. And I'm not the best of players, and I haven't taken damage yet. Uh, I took damage from something, but it was oh, he had a uh, his slam. Oh no, I hit that horse. I'm such a terrible person. All right, so that is the throwing combat. Let's do some quick. Oh, well, I might as well kill this guy, right? I mean, he's just looking like such a little bitch. I got a half door shield. Boom! I got a dagger in your back, my friend. You're a loser. There's a dagger. Your horse is free. Okay, now let's show some of this uh, guard countering I was talking about. You just hold your shield up. What's up, bro? Throw. Usually get a second one in. Guard counter. Throw. Second one. And that medium range guard counter is super cool. And the roll throw. The row throw looks incredible. Roll, throw, underhanded. Oh, it is juice. It is juice. It's pretty handy, too, because sometimes... Yeah, daggers don't go very far. So sometimes they can be too far away, and you want to hit them with that roll throw and look like a complete badass while doing it. You can. Oh, I need to... I, I just put this shield on. I need to try to remember that I'm a shield bro, bro now and to block instead of dodge. Oh, that would have been a great one to block, but I threw it. So as you can see, multiple enemies are kind of a weakness because blocking and attacking while there's multiple, multiple enemies going on is pretty difficult. What's up, horse? What up, bro? You're free. Go wherever you want. Go graze. Go find a fucking uh, spider squirpin and become its lunch. Those things are creepy as hell. I swear sometimes FromSoft like, really has deep knowledge into the psychology of humans. I think that's really how they're good at making their games. They really understand the human mind. Including things like beers, because a spider squirpin is pretty goddamn terrifying. And for me, I'm not afraid of spiders or squirpins. I just understand that a lot of people are. But one of the things I am afraid of is centipedes, and they've been putting that shit in all their games. And the centipede boss was probably my favorite so far. Could have been that it was an easy boss, and it was a nice reprieve after all the other bosses that have been stomping my socks. But I really liked that fight. It was a lot of fun. I thought it was excellent. So we're going to do the, this lobster over here because big enemies like this are a really good demonstration of the power of horse combat. So there's a second lobster that pops up, so I'm going to drag him away over this way a little bit. But I guess I get to do, the, do this combat as a demonstration. But for the lobster, you kind of want to just run, learn his moveset, jump's all you really need. And you just run in circles, throwing your little dagger at him. Oh, he's coming for a charge, get ready to jump. 
It's really easy. Pretty sure games journalists can play this game this way. You just run around things and you throw your daggers at it. So let's try the other lobster, but using the guard counter. Come here, lobster. Let's get a little health. Uh, he has a slam, which is pretty rough. A grab. He has a grab that's pretty brutal. And I don't know his uh, guard. Sometimes it's a, a triple attack. Like that one I need to only guard the first time. Okay. You attack a lot. It's the DLC. I get it. Wait, is that the grab? Okay, yeah. So you need to pay attention to the grab. And also not get greedy with your attacks. Two. Oh, that's a triple. He got me. He got me. So, lobster, obviously, you want to fight on the horse. You want to fight on the horse. Um, I'm going to go... Where's a tough enemy? I'm going to try to fight a tough enemy that gave me a lot of trouble. I'm going to rack my brain while I go get these souls. A tough enemy that gave me a lot of trouble. Let me think. Most of the regular enemies, I've just walked right through. No trouble at all. Oh, okay, there was this spot where I forget what they called uh, there's a bunch of priestess and they hit the ground with holy magic it's way over here somewhere in this area it's probably the final the final one let's try here they hit the ground with holy magic and then it's just fucking night I could not believe I was floored he was just a regular enemy I thought he was a boss that's how hard he was yeah this is the spot I thought this guy was a boss so I'll do this shield dagger combo and demonstrate on a very hard enemy if it is or is not affected. Now, I haven't fought this guy with this setup yet, so it's gonna be a little rough. I'm probably gonna die, maybe, but it'll be a good demonstration of uh, you know how good this is. Now with the dagger combat, the dagger does very low damage, but when you're blocking, a lot of times it's really easy to uh, get behind someone, right? You just hold your block up and you try to get that backstab. So if you want to do something to increase count, uh, critical damage, you can do that too, because you can also crit by hitting the enemy in the face. So if you got something to increase crit, that might also be a pretty good option. You can turn this into a backstab crit throw build. All right, here is the jerk that I cannot believe is just a regular enemy. This dude is a fucking monster. He is a monster, and he's just a regular dude. All right. Guard counter mid-range. You see that? Guard counter, mid-range. Oh, that's a triple attack. Oh, that's a five times attack. Guard counter, baby. Get some of that stamina back. You want to be downhill more than you want to be uphill. Because when you're uphill, um, sometimes you'll miss more, in my experience. Oh, I, I want him to hit me. See see how easy that was? This guy, I died to him like five times before I put this stupid shield on. And maybe it's just the shield that's good, right? But the dagger, you saw a couple of mid-range attacks. I got a good guard counter on that with a different weapon, you wouldn't have got that guard counter. Now let's demo the spear. I was telling you I just got the spear, and that's what made me try this whole guard counter thing. So I'm gonna put the spear on, and you'll see the spear has much longer range than the dagger, I think. It like really can, it can really get some distance. Let's see if I can lock onto one of these boys. I won't hit that, but I bet you can manually throw it. Uh, anyways, I'll uh, target someone else. Man, I fell off my thing. Fat boy. Oh, come on. See, I was able to get him. But, when you hit a guard counter... Come on, chubby. It's a spear. And it's not a ranged one. So, it's not as good as the dagger. despite it having more range. So let's put this dagger back on. I 
and let's just do a little bit more combat. Go up here first, do the thing I was talking about. Kind of trying to find that, that backstab. I'll keep going up. What's up, bro? Mid-range counter. Mid-range mid counter. Took that guy, took care of that guy. What's up, chunk? If you really want to do a bleed build, that could be pretty cool. I just thought maybe I can guard. Can't. Why am I rolling? Stop rolling. You don't need to be afraid. You got block. I did not see that guy there. I was saying, you know, you work on your uh, backstabs. When you knock an enemy down, you want to do the R2 trigger because you won't be able to hit him at first. When he's on the ground, they have those uh, invisibility things where you can't really target him. No, no, backstab. See, so here, you want to charge it, and then you'll get him as they stand up. But on this guy, after I backstab him, I will, uh... Hey, I'm trying to backstab him. You chill out. You have his butt. So I'll target him, and you throw these R1s, see how they miss. Now let's uh, throw on a dual wield. We'll watch some of them miss, maybe. Okay, they don't miss if the dude's holding still. I just demo the dual wield. I personally don't like it, but uh, if you want to dish out a little more damage at close range, you can use it, but it kind of defeats the purpose of what I was talking about with this build. But if you want to do like a back charge attack with it. Oh, see how that missed? And because you're throwing two daggers, they do less damage per dagger. Um, it's not exactly as strong as using a single dagger. Oh yeah, that one missed. It came with a Ash of War, but I replaced it. And uh, I don't think I have the app. Oh, there's a... Oh, I'm still alive. Who would have thunk that? Right, let's put the shield back on. Fight some of these guys. Hey, what's up, bro? Uh, guards. You're going to be weak against guards because you're not going to be used to dodging. So, I mean, not guards. Grabs. Anything that's a grab attack, you're going to be really weak against. So you want to really pay attention for grab attacks. But you can do enough damage with these backstabs. I mean, that was 2,900. That was 2,000... Uh, whatever that was. So the damage isn't the worst thing in the world. And the quality of life you get from the dagger, I think, outshines the disadvantages. All right. There's one scenario. Um, do I have any kind of... I don't think I have any bosses available that I'm aware of. Um, I got one of those fire guys, but I don't think this would be great for a fire, the big fire boys. Because... No, that's not where I'm at. I don't think it'll be good for the big fire boys because, like, you need a lot of poise damage to knock them down, I believe. And these aren't going to be doing the most amount of poise damage. So you'll, you will be able to run around in circles doing a lot of dagger throws, but you can do that with a regular weapon on those fire guys. Their main attack, ooh, these dogs would be a great, great demo for the horse combat. Just gets the work done. It just gets the work done. Let's see how many of these dogs we can trigger at once. What's up, dogs? Wake up. What about you, dogs? Dags. What are you guys? What are you guys resting for? You got a tarnish to try to kill. Come on. Come on. There's more dogs over here. All you guys come together. Okay, these dogs aren't following me. These dogs are losers. I'll just kill them all. Oh, you want a piece of this too, dear? And you can even a lot of times just hold still on the horse, which is really, really good combat too. You just hold still and throw things while you're on the horse. You don't want to be running around like a goober. Like, you can even go sideways and just... 
Stop moving. Stop moving, doggy. But I kind of like the spin around them style of play. I got you too, dear. I got you. So let's go. Oh, I think in here, right when I leave, there's going to be that nasty spider squirt I was talking about. I'll show the combat on both horse and not horse for that stupid spider scorpion. I'll start with uh, non horse, it'll be better to start with. Look at that ugly ass motherfucker, dude. Look at that son of a bitch. I mean, they're not very strong. But they can do a bit of damage rapidly. See, mid range spit. I was able to guard counter it. This one's bigger. He's only was a special one. So that's pretty. That's pretty easy combat. That's, that's pretty good. Uh, so anyway, I, I think that that demoed it well enough. The, the talisman. This is the main one that I have that synergizes with it. Um, enhanced throwing weapon attacks. This synergizes with everything. So this is really the only one that kind of makes it a little bit more special. I might get something else going on given that throwing weapons are new. There might be other things that increase throwing weapon damage. Like there might be some gear that increases throwing weapon damage. In fact, I might already have that, but I'm not going to go through and scan right now. But if there's an armor set that increases throwing weapon damage, that'll be really cool to add on to this. But mostly I just wanted to show the interaction between the great shield and the dagger. Now that is all. I hope you try it out. I hope you enjoy it. The horse combat with this dagger is insane, so you should at least level this up for that. Later.